Near post strike? Oh, he actually scores Soul Campbell! Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Prime Icon Moments Soul Campbell card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two with low medium work rates. Very, very unique work rates to what most people actually have in this game. Uh, he's right footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to his in-game player traits, he actually has the power header trait, which is actually going to be very helpful for corner kicks in some situations. Uh, base card stats in-game, he's at 80 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, which is a good cutoff in this game to be able to give him a 90 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Uh, base card stats for shooting doesn't have any passing stats. He's at 78 for short passing, 70 for long passing. I think it's like okay, but Soul Campbell in the past, like there's some situations where you want to be able to make that last second pass where it could present to be an issue. But if you make like really clear cut passes, shouldn't necessarily be a big deal. Now, the thing that we're obviously going to be trying out in game is going to be his dribbling stats because obviously with obviously with uh, Carl Poyle's card, uh, his dribbling stats weren't great either, but his transitioning was absolutely monstrous across the pitch, right? So uh, hopefully it's the same case with Soul Campbell. I don't think it will be. But we'll see, because he does have a high and stocky body type in this game, right? So definitely interesting stuff to look at there. Now, the cool thing with Soul Campbell's card is that he does have the base card stats of defending very high already, right? So if you gave him a Shadow Chemistry style, you're only boosting it by a little bit. So that base characteristic of his uh, having good defensive stats is definitely going to be... Um, a very nice thing to have for him as well. And then not only that, but with the high and stocky body type that he has, we're working with 98 for aggression, 95 for, ag no, excuse me, 95 for aggression, 98 for strength, at 83 for stamina, at 98 for jumping, right? So with a card like this, we're going to obviously be stress testing him in a three at the back formation, but in a four at the back formation, I actually feel like he'll be a pretty decent defender with regular custom tactics, you know? Like, I don't necessarily think he's going to be that terrible. I do think it's very important nowadays, um, you know, the fact that he has the low attacking work rate, so he doesn't really aggressively push up that much. Uh, the medium defensive work rates is a good cutoff, right? Because obviously with players like Rio Ferdinand and stuff, they also have like medium, medium, and they perform pretty well. So hopefully that is going to be the case with Sol Campbell's card. So we are going to be using him with a three at the back formation because we're stress testing him obviously so three five two crazy long ball press after possession loss um and then we're going to be playing him in the center back position here a Damo will move here and then sun will move over here to the right side there we go okay see soko we just have to move to awesome instructions will just be Join the attack for the other two center backs. We can test out Sol Campbell a little bit more and uh, take it from there. So, yeah, let's get into a game or a couple games and see how he plays. That's why you just wait for the attacking AI. If they have, like, really good one, like Lucas Mora up top, they just kind of, like, adapt to every situation. It's pretty awesome. You don't have to do anything else. There we go. We're going to collect that right away. He's offside, but we ended up getting that ball at least. I want to see what his passing is like from certain angles. Because with center backs, it's not really necessarily a big deal. It's just more like the on, like in like under pressure type situations. Uh, that's just for me shielding right there. And we might lose this. So Camel does well there. I try to clear the ball like crazy, and then that's just FIFA mechanics. <laughs> um. Yeah, you know, when someone's using, like, pressure tactics and every single player is marked, it's a really terrible mechanic in this game, but it is what it is. Uh, that's when it's going to be presented to be a problem for the dribbling on the ball and then the passing stats, obviously, as well um, for those types of situations. So you just have to accommodate a little bit more for, for that. Yeah, he has, like, this, like, kind of, like, sluggish feel to him. On the ball, you can definitely see it as well. Off the ball there, at least he gets the ball. Little shot cancel right there, we'll take it. His transitioning has like a sway to it for sure. Like I was just trying to like move left and right right there and it was a little bit weird. Nice goal right there, Bergwijn, with good attacking AI, man. 
I remember reviewing that card and I really, like, I was surprised. I was like, oh, this card is like, it's saucy, man. Uh, go back. You got this soul. Nothing crazy special with the initial tackle, but that's just like tackling this game in general. There's just very strange. Well, at least we got that back. Ooh, that sway. You gotta be careful with that sway for his dribbling, man. There we go. Chase after. There we go. Nice. That's what I wanted there. Oh, I just tackle it. There you go. Hey, man, to be fair, at least the body type actually helped out right there. Put pressure under the attacker. We were able to get the ball back there. Nice. Yeah, his dribbling on the ball, guys, it's it's really rough. Like, I'm, I will 100% tell that to you guys. And that's why Varon is amazing right there. You see that tackle right there? Uh, CPU tackle, my boy. It's that trait, bro. It has to be, man. That's why he's so freaking good. This dude 100% uses, like, counter... Uh, con not counter. Constant pressure. Because his players have no stamina. <laughs> Oh, let's, let's get him involved in the attack here. Let's do it. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Near post strike? Oh, he actually scored with Soul Campbell. No way, dude. Okay, guys, hey, man. I take it back. He's the best, he's the best uh, center back, striker, CDM, center mid in the game, bro. <laughs> oh, good challenge there. We'll take that. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you guys this right now, and, and like, his in-game stats, obviously, it makes sense to how he performs in-game. So this is obviously not going to be a full meta card by any means. Uh, you know, if you're an Arsenal fan, uh, a London fan, <laughs> then uh, he's, it'll be cool to get. He can play in the meta well, guys, but you do have to work with his on-the-ball movement with dribbling, as well as the off-the-ball stuff a little bit. It doesn't affect his transitioning too much. You can see even there in that situation that I can get the ball. It's when he has possession of the ball that he starts to sway a lot because of those dribbling sets. Like, even Poyol's dribbling didn't feel that bad on the ball. It's because of his body type and his height and stuff too, you know? Good challenge right there, Soul Campbell. Good stuff. Yeah, like I said, he'll be he'll be usable in the meta of the game. It's not like a it's not like a completely terrible card, but for how the game is, you do want to have better center backs. Nice little block there again. You know, like I use players like Eric Bai, for instance, right? Like if if Soul Campbell had the characteristics of Eric Bai, he would definitely be a better card. But those dribbling stats from time to time, it'll it'll annoy you. But it's not like a it's not like a huge nuisance for defending aspects, right? It's just when he gets that ball. Yeah, I could tackle uh, people and get back into the play quickly with him. That's not really like a huge nuisance with him. Oh, he still got that ball back. Whew. There we go. We'll take that. See? That's it. That's the only part. It's just, it's just that when he gets the ball, you know? All right, guys, so final verdict on the Soul Campbell card. Uh, it is one of those cards that can play in the meta well, but obviously for certain things you are going to be lacking with this card. So with his base card stats, if you were to give him a Shadow Chemistry style and you give him 90 Acceleration with 96 Sprint Speed, you can play with that in the meta. Obviously, with the way that the game kind of plays out nowadays, it's a little bit better to have more Acceleration, not necessarily Sprint Speed, but a little bit more Acceleration with a certain body type, right? Because... This card has medium low work rates. The medium low work rates I don't really think is going to affect the card that much. Um, I think the medium defensive work rates is good enough in my opinion because of the fact that he has good base card stats for defense. That is a very noticeable thing with him. Like he makes good sliding tackles, he makes he makes good standing tackles. It's just the movement on the ball that's going to be like a huge issue in some cases, right? Uh, the transitioning speed wasn't 
really that big of a nuisance on the car. The only thing that I felt was a nuisance was the initial acceleration to turn around and then run because the uh, 80 acceleration with base dribbling stats that he has kind of plays in, uh, into par with each other because of the six foot two height and high and stocky body type. So it's just that initial turning that he has to do that is uh, sometimes an issue as well, right? But the agility, the balance of dribbling, like you do notice that in game a lot, obviously. Um, when he receives possession of the ball, he just feels really heavy, you know, and you have to compensate a lot for that, right? But with a card like this, if you're doing it for sentimental value uh, and you want to use him in your team, he's still going to be a good center back for you in this gameplay. If his pace was in 75s and stuff, I would tell you guys, I don't even know why you're doing this card, right? But the, for the sentimental value aspect or just for the fun aspect, again, you can use this card in your team and he can play in the meta well. But those are the things that you will notice with him, right? Like, like I said, like the biggest nuisance for me honestly, with a card like this, is just his on-the-ball movement once he receives possession of the ball or once he makes a certain tackle. Like, he just does these, like, animations, you know? So it's just a little bit weird with him. But, uh, yeah, it's a card you can use in the meta. It's not a card that I would recommend doing as an SPC. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.